When defining a mate reference, you have primary, secondary, and tertiary options. Typically, the primary option in the mate reference will be the one that is used, as it is what is going to be done, used by the software first. But you can define a secondary entity, which could be a different face, edge, or vertex, for example. And if your pointer is over geometry in the assembly, it does not make sense for the primary entity, it would go to the secondary entity. You could even define a tertiary entity, a third item, where it would take over if primary and secondary didn't make sense for the position of your cursor as you drag and drop into your assembly. It is primary, if not, then secondary, if not, then tertiary, not and. It is not primary and secondary and tertiary, it's or. The only exception to this rule is when a special case is triggered, if you have the same primary, secondary, and reference entities in two different parts, and both parts have a unique name for those parts for the reference. Rather than using default, you can assign something else. To show this, I'm going to define what I call the box top mate, mate reference. And my primary entity will be making this face here coincident and reversed, anti-aligned, because normally this part is put on top of another. And that's primarily what we want. So that makes sense for the primary entity. But since I'm making a unique reference name, I may want additional snapping. And I can get that by continuing on to define a secondary entity as, say, the front face. We'll make that a coincident aligned mate material on the same side. And tertiary with this right side face, again, coincident and aligned. I will save that mate reference. And notice the name is not default, but box underscore top. I will save that part, close it, and then define the same kind of mate reference in my housing. So I'll go to my mate reference tool, make sure it has the same name that I want to match up with, box underscore top, and define the same reference Entity. So primary would be the top face, coincident, anti-aligned, just like we had for the bottom face of the blue cover. Secondary, front face, coincident, and aligned, just like the front face of the blue cover. And tertiary will be the right face, coincident, and aligned, just like the blue cover. So these all match up with the same reference name. I will save that, save the part, close that window, and then when I drag and drop the cover plate into my assembly, you will see that when I go to the top face, it jumps right to not just being on top of the housing, but also picking up multiple references. Let me just accept and finish that. It picked up the mate reference for box top in the cover plate, matching up with the same name in the housing. And therefore, the mates that were picked up were coincident, bottom of the cover, top of the housing, coincident for the front faces of both, coincident for the right faces of both. Again, that's a special case when you have two components that have a mate reference name identified to be the same in both components, and you have mate references primary, secondary, and tertiary that match up. It may not be an everyday occurrence for this, but if you do a lot of piece part work, certain types of plugs and interchangeable components, if I had multiple housings and multiple covers, for example, I could mix and match them, and if they all had box top defined the same way, it would simply be a drop, drag and drop to snap. But even if you simply define a primary, maybe a secondary, in case the primary doesn't work in a given drag scenario, you're still going to be money ahead because you'll be able to bring the component in through the design library or through the insert component command or 
through the Windows folder and dragging that icon or placing that icon, you will essentially be placing it as if you were dragging it by a given face or end.